Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Hey, aloha, and welcome back to the Think Tech Hawaii studios. Andrew, the security guy here with another episode of Security Matters Hawaii. Uh, we are kicking off part two. We've been talking about the end, uh, not the end, but the conclusion of National Cyber Security Awareness Month, which was in October. Uh, episode one, we talked about some of the technologies and some of the high points that came up for people, some of the information that uh, we were able to share, and I think helped some of those folks that attended. But today, we have a special guest in-house. In uh, Raynaud Hioki is here from the state of Hawaii. He's the cybersecurity coordinator for the state of Hawaii, and he helped put all this together this month. And I really wanted to thank you for doing that. I know that our audience wants to thank you for doing that. We were out in the public in a big way. So tell me, how did, how did that come about for you? Did you, the governor walked in and says, give me a cybersecurity program, or did you get to, no, no, it's, did you get to uh, work on it yourself? I basically uh, worked on it myself, but oh. uh, with, with really the guidance from my boss, D. Cook, who's the administrator for the Office of okay. Homeland Security in the Department of Defense in the state of Hawaii. Okay. So uh, we started this kind of bit last year. Uh, she wanted me to really go out and do a community outreach. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of areas that are being worked on, but a lot of people are working in those areas, and I, and I was one of them. I'm talking the more the darker side. But uh, so, some of these community things are not really being... Uh, uh, supported uh, as, as they should be. So uh, we weren't really going out to the community and giving presentations, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of things just at the lowest level if the community knows about can be safer and more secure when oh, they're connected. Yeah, yeah. So uh, collectively, uh, uh, I sat down, actually had some help with actually a lot of people. Uh, I was the lead, but uh, we had some companies that uh, had some people that helped us out, uh, DHS, uh, Secret Service, uh, Attorney General's Office, uh, ISC Squared Hawaii Chapter, and, and the list kind of goes on. Nice. Uh, that was there at various uh, locations. It was all volunteer driven. Okay. Uh, Which is so easy, right? It's like herding cats. Yeah, like, yeah, how do you get all these yeah. volunteers? Push, pushing, pushing the noodle, yeah. right? Kind of thing. And isn't it funny how everybody signs up early, but then they all get these other commitments, and you, get, you know, you got to shuffle so, around. So, you know, what we did, what we did this year, which I was very impressed with our community is, uh, so we use ISC Squared. They have a, they, they built a speakers bureau. Mm. So, fifty-eight people signed up to be on the bureau. Uh, that can be asked to present, and uh, of the all the libraries here on Oahu, which I think were 13 initially, uh, we had two people assigned to each and every one, wow. just in case sure. something happened. Sure. And in many cases, uh, both of the speakers showed up and gave presentations, as you know. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I heard it went really well, and we the think the uh, the one that we kicked off, I think, was at the mall, and you know, you uh, had a, a cipher game there. Which kind of surprised. I didn't know. Did, did you dream that up, or that was a, a fun addition? People sat down and played, tried to cipher this these yeah. puzzles. <laughs> so or uh, decipher, I guess I ought to say. So you know, there's there's a thing called capture the flag, yeah. and uh, and that's really for generally there's professionals that kind of do that, or students that have studied these things, and and uh, at you know I wanted to have an awareness with our. Uh, our mall goers as to what, what, what are some of the things that cybersecurity people do. And one of them, of course, is encrypting, decrypting. Mm. And so uh, I, I just made things up uh, and put it together and kind of saw how it was going to go. So that was actually beta version. Uh, a lot of people got stomped. Mm -hmm. uh, I think not many made it through 80% of it, but we did have one person yeah. that uh, got all of it correct. Yeah, we'll have a picture of her later. I hope she ends up getting a, a, a cybersecurity job yeah. somewhere. Uh, she so. was all excited. So yeah, we, we are kind of, I am talking to her, my wife and I. Really? Oh, because, excellent. You know, my wife was out there also too. So, sure. Um, yep. Yeah, she, your wife was uh, doing a lot of recruiting. Like she was pulling people in, saying, you know, challenging them to take our cyber. And first they're like, what is it, you know? Yeah, she was actually. She did a great job. She did a great job. Actually, not just at Pearl, uh, Pearl Ridge where we started, but also the, uh, I mean, she's, she's my partner, right? So, awesome. Uh, she helped out at uh, Woodward Mall as well as, uh, as Kahala Mall. Nice. So National Cybersecurity Awareness Month is a, is a, a federal effort, right? It's, 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 it's from, um, what is it, Stay Safe Online participates. There's some, yeah. there's some federal funding behind the rollout of the program. And it's every October for what, the last four years now? Three or four years, no, I think. No, I, I want to say it's at whole. Uh, Is it older at, than at that? Least, at least 10, if not Oh, I didn't, I, I wasn't even aware I'm, I'm it was I'm trying to remember, I, I did read okay, that. I think, wow. it's, I think it's 13 years okay. old. Wow, okay. Uh, so Hawaii's jumped in for the last two. 
Yeah, so I, you know, I've, I've been in this in this position for doing this specific for the last year plus. Okay. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what we did pre prior. I don't but, remember anything. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, and and last year we did not even a crawl. I, I came in so late in the game, but uh, we wanted to do at least a, a crawl this year, right? Sure. So this year, uh, a lot of challenges, a lot of different things that could have been done better. Uh, but you know that's what next year is for with the walk mm -hmm. and then and the run. Sure. So uh, I hope to engage with even more, uh, as well as other organizations coming online. So uh, a lot of it was actually uh, support from ISC squared. Yep. Uh, okay. Because that's kind of the main one, main nonprofit I'm aligned with, uh, with with the CISSP certification. But you know we we, we had elements of others out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know we'll have more time next year. Yeah, it was good, and, and I think, you know, having helped out a little bit last year and this year, there seemed to be a lot more preparation this year that we were able to, because, you know, you had more time to get everything yes, rolled out. Yeah. We definitely had a lot more help. Uh, it seemed like the materials had improved dramatically to uh, really address some of the problems, and there were takeaways for everybody. So mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I think that as a community, you know, and, and we, we found people are concerned and confused, and they don't know what to, and they're being victimized. We yes. heard a lot of stories, yes. you know. So yeah, it's it's a uh, you know for, for me, uh, I was talking to people. What, what I look at it kind of is what what keeps me going on this is uh, every time you talk to someone, you can kind of think about the fact that you're probably saving the community somewhere a hundred dollars if mm -hmm. you use that number. I think so. So I went to uh, very interesting. I went to uh, Windward Mall, and uh, they they our seniors are exercising at Windward Mall eight o'clock in the morning every morning. Okay. And I went to the the leader who happened to be a retiree from the National Guard, so we we connected. And uh, when he was in the guard, he worked in the same building I work uh -huh. now, even though I'm a civilian now. And I asked him if he could promote this for me to have a presentation there. And uh, 52 people showed up. I, pre I presented to 52 of our seniors right after their uh, exercise session. Wow, so they were awake and alert, they were ready awake, to go. Uh, they were ready to go. Chomping uh, at the bit. <laughs> not, not only that, but you know the presentation takes about 45 minutes maybe, plus or minus. I was there for three hours. Wow. And left until the last person uh, had her question answered. Wow. And to me that was, I mean, that was, I mean, I felt so good after that presentation. Mm -hmm. I think I... Saved hundred dollars times fifty-two that day. Sure, because uh, you hear all those stories. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 and, and they don't know collectively the community because this is a new era for many of us. Uh, what people are doing, malicious actors, mm -hmm. to get your money, your information, and mm -hmm. everything else, your medical records. And I I think that that's that's why that awareness, that piece, I think that should be made big. You know, because people hear ooh cyber. Ooh, presentation and they're scared or they don't know yeah. what's going to happen and when you say awareness and I think it really brings it down to this level of listen we all have things to learn regardless regardless of what we do in our day-to-day and -day, our practices and whatever there are things that and we can learn from each other yeah. and we found that out right in in some of the classes it was truly uh, it, it became more interactive as people wanted to share and I was personally kind of surprised at the uh, amount of scams that people have fallen for. So this awareness is very necessary. Yeah, it's, I mean, uh, you, you and Vince Lee did a great job at IEA. I mean, kudos. I think you guys were, I won't say you were the best, but you were one of the best. Yay. Maybe the best, but there were others. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're very, all good. Very engaging. I was, uh, I mean, we had about 25 uh, individuals in there, and I think the questions went for at least an hour, if not more. I mean, just. We stayed a while, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. It kept on going, which was great because, uh, you know, the value of these presentations that we've given at the libraries this year and other places is really the questions. Mm -hmm. It's not what we provide. It's really, hey, I got a question or something happened and everyone learns from that. And that was really amazing that I saw at really all, all the libraries that we went to. Yeah, I was thinking what, when I was given that, that it would have been cool if we could have had like some of this, some of video gear there. We could have been re kind of recording the questions or people's histories like because these these stories that they tell you, you see one person telling a story and you see the other heads going oh yeah I did that or yeah that happened to me and so that if we could sort of get these themes you know I know the the FBI sort of compiles this information yes. and sort of knows what yeah. scams are hot in, in what areas and who's running them but you know it uh it there's some valuable data there in what's just coming back from the audience not just what we're putting out up from the front of the room yeah so you know it's one of my thoughts is collectively to work with uh all here, and again, I'm, I'm probably the new guy in town. So uh, the attorney general has been doing these type of presentations, no. not not specifically. I, I mean, they they do a lot of uh, things like cyberbullying mm -hmm. uh, and financial scams, along with DCCA, yeah. the FBI. Uh, so 
uh, collectively, I'm trying to figure out how to come with a, like a one-stop shop. And it might exist. I just mm -hmm. haven't figured that out yet. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get with a DCCA. I've talked to Attorney General and uh, the FBI and so mm -hmm. forth. So uh, I think people are not sure where to call, yep. not, not to report something, because that's easy. That's, that's HPD mm -hmm. and possibly the FBI, depending on sure. the situation. But that's easy. But if you don't want to report and you just want to get information, uh, where do you call kind of thing, mm -hmm. right? So... Uh, the, uh, the FBI, that's not the FBI's mission. Yeah. Uh, we, we know that. Uh, it's not the Air Force's or the military's mission. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's kind of the next phase that I mm. hope to have uh, figured out by next year. So like a community clearinghouse or, or a way for, for community members to so, perhaps so, get some assistance or get some yeah, FAQs? So, or what? so, so uh, ISC Squared is, is looking at standing up a, specifically for this last month, uh, they've been, they were very successful, mm. to stand up a Speakers Bureau, right? Sure. So if I'm in a, a club, in an organization, and I, we, we need speakers, uh, where do we go? So generally they come, they come to me, mm -hmm. but there's just one Reynold, right? So uh, we're trying to formalize that so you know, it's a web-based sign up. I got 20 people, I got a, I got a venue, and it's all good, uh -huh. and we want a speaker. You know, uh -huh. it's, we have, you know, who are we? We're seniors or we're, we're uh, high school, st what, whatever it is, and mm -hmm. we, we then go to the Speakers Bureau, hopefully, and, and push that in there. So that's kind of one service that I'm looking at trying to do. Uh, and, and all can all can uh, participate. So mm -hmm. if you're federal, state, military, so forth. But the other part is, uh, I think is, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I went out, I, I told everyone, if you have a question, send it to my website. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I do engage with the community. So if we, we can answer these questions. And eventually we'll have the uh, a pool of answers. Yeah, so, that's that's what right? I was looking for. Versus, sure, exactly. you know, right. handcrafting every every answer, uh, and this 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 pool of answers will get better and better and better with time, mm -hmm. with all the references and so forth, uh, and, and direct kind of locations because a lot of that takes time. Sure. You know, I, I got a question about Cyber Patriot. My 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 son is in high school. What what schools have? Well, well we answered that question last week, and here it is. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So so that's kind of the next thing. That the the kind of the the question help. Uh, to cyber mm -hmm. safety and cybersecurity. And kind of crafting these responses. And, and the interesting thing is that the, the response will change. You know, as the, as the attack vectors change, as the type of attacks change, we, we've, we've yeah. seen that's one interesting thing about it. You can't, you really can get your, your cyber maturity ready or, or, or some cyber hygiene, I like to call it, you know, in, in, your, in your interactions with your social media or, or your computer, whatever it may be. But you have to, it doesn't just suck, you don't, it's not static yeah, where you so, can just get, get a program and you're happy. You've got to stay with it, you know, yeah, and keep so, learning. So the second half to that is, is, is key is sustainability, right? So yes. that's, that's where it's, people like me are somewhat reluctant, yeah. want to do it. Because we want to hand it all to you and you just yeah. keep doing it forever. So <laughs> I, I'm more than happy to be the, the, the adult supervision to all of this. Nice. But if I have the community and ISC Squared has, has, has done very well, yeah. so that's why I'm talking about this. But the next phase is, is a little little more, right? We don't want to have stale information out there. If we're gonna yeah. if we're gonna take the effort to give it back to the community, you know, it's got to be fresh. Yeah, yeah. And I think we do have some. You know, we've got InfraGuard and we've got FBI. You know, there's and there's. I think because our community is so small, yeah. we all kind of know each other and work together. And so there's there's that outreach from those folks that people aren't aware of. You know, there's definitely conduits for this information to get to the community, and it's stripped down it's not classified anymore it's the kind of stuff mm -hmm. that you need to know as a consumer let's just yeah. let's call it that you know the, the public so so my, my thought to all of this is uh i mean however it's done but I, i'm available as as the coordinator awesome to to do this i mean a lot of people out there it's it's not really their day-to-day -day job yeah uh you, you have a day-to-day -day job sure <laughs> and it has nothing to do with pre uh, briefing the community at yeah. IAF. yeah but hey great excellent uh that's kind of my job sure but okay. I, if I brief I, yeah, I can't brief all yeah, so, you can't, you so can't. there's only to, one of you. I'm yeah, trying yeah. to bring this all yeah. together to, to work this really this 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 issue. Yeah, and this issue is a community problem. Hey, we're talking about the conclusion of National Cybersecurity Awareness Month and Hawaii's program and what got done. We're gonna pay some bills and we'll be back in about sixty seconds. Thank you. Hello. My name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pamai Weigert, and we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m., and we hope we'll see you next time. Hello, everyone. Think Tech Hawaii. 
日本語でお届けする「こんにちはハワイ」の日本語放送のホスト国末ゆかりです各週月曜日の2時からお届けしています日本語コミュニティハワイの日本語コミュニティに便利なお助け情報ニュースなどをゲストをお招きしてお届けする番組ですこんにちはハワイ各週の月曜日2時からぜひ皆さん見てくださいホストの国末ゆかりでしたアロハ Hey, aloha, and welcome back to Security Matters Hawaii. We're talking about National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and we're just kind of giving a wrap up of all the things that got done. We had a, a lot of outreach ran under Reynold Hioki's office out of the state of Hawaii as the cybersecurity coordinator. You're a, a one man show over there, I think, but you did enlist some community help, and、uh, we, we really did a lot of sharing. And we want to walk you through a little bit of what got done, and maybe、uh, we'll have some, some anecdotes from some of those presentations. What do you think? Sounds good. Let's, All go, right. let's, let's roll see、it. what we got. So, I've got a, a producer in there w i l l roll out for us. This looks familiar. That's,、um, I so、think. So, that's at Pearl Ridge. Pearl Ridge. That was our first event. It was actually not in Cybersecurity Awareness Month. It just happened a couple of、yeah. days before, but, but good enough. And this was one of our contestants. So, this was the screen. You see, you see how they're decoding that?、Uh, there's some text there that they're trying to decode. So, this was the, one of that, that ciphering tests we had. So, some people would look at the chair and look at the screen and then look at the chair and they weren't sure if they wanted to get in. And、yeah. <laughs> so, But we tempted them with, the, I think, a ward was a Snickers bar or something.、So. Yeah, I think everyone that played got a, got a candy bar. Yeah, yeah. Think, so,、right? you know, so that, you tell, they, they, they're shopping, they need a little energy. So, that worked out pretty well. It was worth well. the pain that they, they, had, they had to go through. All right, what do we got next? Oh, this was an amazing thing. After watching. Many, many people struggle with the Cypher exam.、Yeah. Most of them got one or two right out of, I think there were five or six. There were five questions. Five.、Um, this was Candace? It was Candace. And、uh, what do you think? Yeah, she got them all right. She was the only person. I was stunned. Actually, throughout the whole campaign we had at the three shows, in the whole、centers, month? It was the only one that got them all right. Now,、wow. don't get me wrong, it, it, it morphed a little bit as we went by. Sure.、Uh, but it got simpler. <laughs> yeah, this was hard. This thing was hard. Yeah. It was a little challenge. We can't really take pictures of people unless we get them to sign yeah, yeah, and all、yeah. that.、So、and then use it, right? <laughs> and use it. So it, you, you see the back of people's heads all the time in these, in, these, in these pictures. That's good. That means that the classes were full. Yeah. I remember last year I did one in Honoka, e which.、Um, I think we caught them off guard. The only people there were the librarians, the librarians. you know. So hopefully they came. But、in. they learned, you know.、Okay. So, you know, what the heck? It was fun.、Uh, what else? What was next? Where else did we go? I think we ended up hitting most of the malls, right? This is, this is another、oh, library. So, so, this is actually、uh, Nanakui. Nanakui Library is actually the newest library that the state of Hawaii wow. has. Okay.、Uh, it just opened this year. And that looks like our buddy Jasper. And、uh, Jasper Green and、uh, Tanya Fitzgerald were the two presenters. This was actually our. Our uh, inaugural uh, presentation.、Oh. It was the first week of,、uh, of, of October. Okay. And uh, uh, they did a great job. Yeah. So I, I've never talked to them about this, but it was like watching a play.、Uh, They're that ja- good. They, they were, were that they, good. Did they rehearse or did it, they just meet up? They, and just, do it? they just met up. That's awesome. In fact, uh, uh, Tanya got stuck in traffic, and so she showed up right before it started. <laughs> And, well, Jasper、uh, probably would have been ready to row anyway. He's always fun. Yeah. yeah. And, and it, the, the, the audience was.、Uh, Was highly, they were very engaged. I mean, you, you can tell the audience is engaged by the questions they ask、mm-hmm. during the presentation and after. If they and, stay later. And, and that was actually,、uh, they kicked us out of the library. That's why we, we, couldn't, <laughs> take a, we couldn't take a picture in the、wow. room because they wanted to close it.、And、wow. So、uh, that, that worked really well. Okay, good. So that was a couple of libraries we've seen. What, where else were we? Oh, the, well, now the governor, is, is, it's up to him to kick this off, I guess. Yeah, so, so this is,、uh, of course, Governor Ige. And、uh, this year,、uh, National Cyber Security Awareness Month was, was kind of held by ETS. They were the, the、okay. lead. I was, I was the lead last year, so ETS was the lead and, this year. And that's our Enterprise Technology Services. Yeah, Enterprise、okay. Technology, which is the state of Hawaii's IT shop,、mm-hmm. basically, with uh, 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 the, the Chief Information Officer.、Uh, Uh, Todd Nakapu is doing just an outstanding job out、mm-hmm. there. And, and Todd's in there.、Uh, I see、somewhere. Vince. Or、uh, Vince. I see,、uh, I see Jody Ito back there. Arnold. Yeah. And, but there is a.、Uh, uh, the person that's receiving the proclamation is, is a good friend of mine, Vince Hong,、yeah. who is the state chief information security officer.、Yeah. And he is just also doing a bang up job.、Yeah. I mean, we are, we've gone from. 
kind of completely unsecured <laughs> to very secure yeah. now. And they're, they're actually winning awards at the national level. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing, the whole team is really doing a great job. You know, I, you're, you're, I think a lot of people don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know they're doing a good job when they're just too busy to do anything. I mean, they are busy. And, and he's actually brought in his team uh, to include uh, Mark Masuno, who is mm -hmm. a, a good friend of mine uh, from the, uh, the from, we have ties from the Air National Guard. Okay. So he's, they're just doing a good job. I'm very, That's I'm awesome. very happy because, uh, again, they went from, Zero to sixty, just kind of yeah. Bringing the right people, good things. Right happen. people and the right skills. Where else did we go? This is. Oh, that? what is this? Windward. This is this is Windward Mall. Okay, Windward Mall, right on. I did not get out there. So uh, what's the wheel? You had a different I, game. I, I'm not sure. If we I don't think we had the wheel at the time. So uh, so how do you bring the how do you bring the mall goers to you? Right. I mean they're busy. Giveaways. They're busy. <laughs> so you bring the wheel. So this is the, wheel of fortune. This is uh, my wife's uh, great idea. Okay. And I tell you, uh, people were just coming in to spin the wheel. Really awesome. Uh, so we'll use that next year then. So awesome. we, we we had gift cards. We had uh, which was a top prize every hour a gift card. Wow. Okay. And then uh, you had candy bars, lanyards, pencils, and every uh, wristbands and, and and things like that. So. Yeah, we, 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 we estimate on this one, we had probably around 200 plus people that wow. came up. Had an ongoing, did you get players like pretty consistently at all the malls? Because that's a funny thing, you're out shopping so, and all of a sudden. So this was actually interesting. We, we didn't have many that played the game as much, but we had a lot of people came. It was based on the, how the, the, the setup was. I see. So we learned about the setup kind okay. of thing. And it's really based on where you're set up. Ah. Uh, this one was actually kind of, I won't say a side alley, oh, okay. <laughs> but it wasn't quite, it was, they, they saw the front, but they didn't see the side, so oh. the, the, the traffic went left to right versus around us kind of thing. Awesome. But nonetheless, we had 200 plus. Good, good deal. What's next? Ah, this was a little presentation yeah, from, so that's our friend Will Bales. So this is kind of a little uh, add-on, a little special bonus for National Cyber Secure Awareness Month. Uh, it turns out, and I think you found this too, eight, I mean, sorry, uh, the FBI has a really good presence here in the state. Yes, huge. I mean, uh, probably better than most states. Mm -hmm. And uh, Will Bales is the uh, the uh, supervisor, uh, special agent, agent. Yeah, in charge yeah. of uh, the cyber squad. Yeah, cyber crime. And uh, you know, when I first met Will about eight months ago, it was very strange. I keep on bumping in him into him. Mm -hmm. uh, before him was Ed Arias. Yeah. I don't know if you know Ed. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, Will kind of said, hey, are you stalking me? But you know, we, we kind of just go to the same meetings. Sure. But he, he is, his dry humor, he's just hilarious. Yeah. And he gets the message across. Yeah, he does, he does a really good job. We had him in to talk about the uh, new uh, Protected uh, Voices program in, uh, a month or yes, two ago. Yes, yes. So yeah, we saw, we saw that come by. Really good guy. Yeah. He's, um, appreciate, and we do appreciate the help from our, our, our federal friends out there. They, they bring a, a wealth of information in, that we need. You know, yes, so. they, they are key to, to yeah. a lot of the things, especially the bigger number value, more national kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. So Yeah, and, and you know, business here is just, just needs that level of awareness. The counter intel guys have been good about talking about the internal threat and yeah. this 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 infiltration of people trying to get hired to, to steal your intellectual property and all that stuff. So yeah. there's a lot of really good he, stuff he, happening. He's got really good information. What do we got next? Yeah, we'll talk to us at ISC Squared. Um, yeah, he's been he's definitely been doing a lot. Of, oh there there he is again. So uh, this did he get an award? Maybe we gave yeah, him, did we give him a plaque or something? We we gave we gave him a plaque. Uh, he doesn't have his plaque but uh, so ISC Square generally at the end, uh, I'm, I'm one of the uh, advisors, but uh, there's officers there basically, and that's just a picture at the end of the event. Okay, just nice. to put in, you know, put in our scrapbook. Yep, and that's at the Navy League's office. We'll give them a shout out for yeah. supporting uh, ISC Squared over there. Jane Furrer out there at Navy League does just an outstanding job, not just for the Navy League, but for the community. Yeah, she is. She perfect. is all over. What do you got next? Wow, where's this? So this is. Uh, Kahala Mall. Oh, God. So yeah, this is, is, yeah. Okay. This is probably the most successful, not, not that the other places are not good places to go to, <laughs> but we were placed uh, right there, right smack in the middle where Macy's is. Okay, good. Long's so Drugs, lot of Macy's, people. and a lot of people from the back, the front, the side were coming to us. Uh, uh, we think we had about 300 people that came by. Nice. We ran out of stuff. <laughs> really? Wow. So, and so can, that's good to know. And then you can see the game on the right hand side there. Uh, that game is actually a different game. We, I morphed it into a quiz. Okay. Uh, so we, we, you could keep, I mean, it was just the next generation. Similar questions, but we had other questions that were just a little different. Hmm. Uh, and did, um, did the, uh, 
Was it like always on Saturday? Was it Saturday, Sunday? The month? I don't recall. I, I know I only so, helped us Saturday on at the Pearl Ridge. Yeah, Pearl Ridge was Saturday. Uh, then we went to uh, uh, Windward Mall was a Saturday. So they were all one day when you were at a yeah, mall. Yeah, okay. but Kahala Mall was a Sunday. Okay. Uh, they, they couldn't accommodate because they had this huge... And you know we, we we couldn't do it at different. I didn't want to have different two different things happening at the same day. Okay. So we kind of had to stack it one after another. Awesome. But it worked out good. It was actually a Sunday, and we had almost three hundred. I couldn't imagine what it was on Saturday. Nice. Well, we've got about a minute left. Um, we've kind of walked through what happened. You got any final words of wisdom for the community out there? What what they can uh, what they can expect to see out of the office coming up? Uh, you know. Uh, what was kind of apparent to me as we went through all of this is a couple of things that are what I call foot stompers, that if you know this, uh, you, you know more and a lot more. I mean, so these are really valuable things. The first one is hovering your, your uh, mouse cursor over a link. Yeah, right? so always hover to see if it's the actual see thing. See what the actual link, because the link that you see is actually just a label as, and what's hidden behind. Yeah. And, uh, Many people, I think, got it when you gave the presentation, but you just never know, right? Because you get these kind of blanks there. So uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is password managers. What exactly is a password manager? Because okay. in the presentation, you talk about it, but until they go out and kind of look at it, it mm -hmm. might be very, uh, very difficult to understand. And one, one, one lady said, okay, so I'm going to take a picture of my passwords in my notebook, and I'm taking that picture and putting it in it in a, in a vault. Mm -hmm. I said, no, right. that, that's, that's yeah. not what we're doing. It's not, yeah. <laughs> so those, those type of things, what we're thinking about doing now is building videos. So if we go out next time, and we're probably not, uh, by, by no means are we stopping the presentations. Uh, we actually have one scheduled in two weeks at Midpack uh, Country Club. Okay. Uh, as, as, a, as the community asks for these things, but to have uh, videos that go along with it. Nice. So you stop the, the presentation, you show the video, then this is what I'm talking about when the link, because that presentation with the link mm -hmm. is, there's a little to be desired. Some, sure. I okay. mean, gotcha. you can't no, really understood. tell kind of thing. Yeah, I've seen people, people so puzzle over that myself. That's kind of the thing we want to do is go to the next level and maybe uh, add to that presentation. Uh, not necessarily have a new presentation at this point because that would take a, a lot of effort. Okay. But those type of things that if I see it in a video, uh, it, it, it'll make much more sense. Uh, like I told, I told people, you know, I, I have like 84 uh, passwords accounts. And you probably have more. But you know, every time you do something, you need an account. Yeah. And I, and I basically, uh, my passwords in general are 30 characters long with upper, lower, special number, and they're all randomized because I just cut and paste. And that, that concept doesn't quite come across sometimes. But I think if people saw it, they would go, got it. Okay. So those. Well, we're out of time today. Raynal, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming in, sharing oh, with the audience. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so Andrew. much for driving the program out to the community. And join us again next week uh, for another episode of Security Matters. Aloha.